Hi and welcome back to Studio Gibbs Photography. Please forgive my um, lockdown hair, it's looking a bit of a state at the moment. But today I've got bringing a new video and this one is going to be oil on water. You can do this with pretty much any camera you have, whether it be a phone, a point and shoot, um, a bridge camera, a DSLR, whatever you've got, you'll be able to get some images on this. Really, really simple setup. So what we're going to start off with is I've got a tray of water and, and this is glass so we can see through it. That's very, very important. Make sure that you can see through your tray of water. And this is lifted up from my table. Um, you, I'm using two steps, you can use anything for this, a load of books, CDs, something like that. And um, then I have my camera, which is my um, Fuji X-T2 with 18-55mm lens on it. And I also have um, my extension tubes um, on here today. Um, if you've got a macro lens, it's going to work out the best. You can do this with any lens, but you may need to crop in a little bit. So I've just put my macro um, rings on because uh, I haven't got a, uh, a macro um, lens. So we're going to light this up today um, using our LED lamp, which is at the front of the table there. You can use any um, steady light source. Um, I sometimes use my Godox AD200s with a video head on. Um, but as long as you have a constant light source, you'll be able to get some great images here. Um, now for my background, I'm using coloured papers. Um, if you've got a tablet or something like that, you can save some images onto there and you can flip through them after a few different photos and give yourself um, lots and lots of different backgrounds. So that's another great way of doing it. And the last thing you're going to need is some oil. So let's get going. Right, so we have everything set up. And now you'll notice that the light is coming from underneath. That's really important. You're going to want to light this from underneath and not above. Um, so we're going to add in to our water some oil. So I have my oil there. I'm going to mix that round a little bit with a straw, it doesn't have to be a straw, you can use anything that you like. And I'm going to bring my camera in, now for this, like I said, I'm using extension tubes and you're going to want to get in as close as you can. So you're going to want to keep your camera as parallel as possible to your water. And the reason you're going to want to do that is because you don't want too of a shallow depth of field. Um, if you're focusing straight down and you're keeping your camera straight, um, you should all be on the same um, focus plane. Um, and that will help you out massively. So shooting straight down. Careful not to dip your lens into the, um, into the uh, water like I managed to do the other day. But I'm shooting this at 125th of a second. You can use a, um, a tripod which may help you a great deal. Um, I'm shooting handheld today. So I'm going to focus in on some of the bubbles and um, gives a, a great effect. Um, I'll hear that beep when I achieve my focus. And I'm just going to move around the setup a little bit and then I'm going to give it another swish around again. See what other great effect I can get. 
there really is some awesome images coming out here they're very abstract and it's as simple as that what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my background again either using different coloured papers Easter's just gone so um, Easter egg boxes work great as well as they're very colourful or you can use a tablet as well have a go at this yourself and see what you can come up with and thanks for watching make sure you subscribe to our channel and to get notifications of new videos ring that bell too Ta-ta for now.